My name is Megan Wells, and today I wanted to share with you two of my all-time favorite tools from my toolbox. These the Angelico planes are amazing, and I use them to carve the tops and backs of my archtop guitars. I've used a lot of different hand planes over the years, but these two are certainly some of my favorite. For those of you who aren't familiar, archtop guitars have carved tops and backs very similar to violins and cellos. You achieve these arches by starting with a thicker piece of material, and these arches are carved into the exterior as well as the interior of the top and back plates. Now there's a lot of different ways that you can go about doing this, but my favorite way to do it is the good old fashioned way, by hand. So these planes are called D'Angelico planes because they're modeled after the very planes that were used by John D'Angelico, who's basically the godfather of archtop guitar making. And they're also very similar to the planes that were used by his protege, Jimmy D. Kisto. They're super solid, they're made of silicone bronze, and they have a curved convex sole. The blade is also convex, and they're made by Ron Hawk of the Hawk Tool Company. Hawk blades are basically some of the best blades out there today, so I was really happy to see that these planes came with them. The planes come in two different sizes. The larger one has a one inch blade, and it's excellent for hogging off a lot of material very quickly. <laughs> The smaller size is a three quarter inch blade and it's perfect for getting into some of those smaller, tighter curvatures. Now my favorite thing about these planes is easily the ergonomic design. The tail extension on the back of the plane fits perfectly into the palm of your hand. And having something that fits nicely in the palm of your hand versus having everything at your fingertips makes a huge difference. So like I said, I love this larger plane for removing a lot of material, which is basically 75% of the process. So using a pin router, I've established a ledge around the entire perimeter of the guitar that's one inch wide and a quarter inch thick. I've also thickness my material to one inch, which is going to be the peak of my arch. So between those two dimensions, I can use my hand planes to start carving and blending everything together. So once I get a bulk of the material removed, I can switch over to the smaller hand plane and start to get into some of those tighter curves. So these planes really do take a labor-intensive process and turn it into a lot of fun. 